I have a bunch of fun things in front of me, which I have really been enjoying over the past few months. In fact, a couple of the items I'm going to share with you have made quite a difference in my life. But as always, I feel I have to preface these videos by saying that while I am really enjoying these things, I'm going to share with you in a second, and while again, a couple of them have actually made quite a difference in my life, none of these are necessary. So please don't feel you have to run out and purchase everything I'm talking about. However, if something does look interesting, I will of course link everything I'm talking about down below in the info box. And if I happen to have a discount code, I will also link that down below. With that said, I am going to go in no particular order. The first thing I have really been enjoying is the new Dr. Pen BioPen Q2. I've actually made two videos on this pen, which I will link down below. But so many of you keep asking me, how do I feel about this pen now that I have been using it for quite a while? So I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Now, the first video was just a first impressions video. In the second video, I did a side-by-side -side comparison using the BioPen on one side of my face and the Dr. Pen M8S on the other side of my face. And I told you in that video how surprised I was at the difference of discomfort between the two. Going the same depth, using the same technique. The Dr. Pen M8S definitely was a lot more uncomfortable to use than the BioPen Q2. So that is something I love about this pen. And it is why I have been reaching for this pen, even though I have two other Dr. Pens. I have been reaching for this pen when doing my microneedling sessions because I find it so much more comfortable to use. I'm not sure why it is more comfortable, but I'm grateful for it. Now, this is not just a microneedling pen. It does have two added modalities. It has LED, blue, as well as red. And then it also has EMS electroporation, which is supposed to help with product penetration. However, to be honest, I'm not sure that these two added modalities are worth the extra cost because this is more expensive than a regular doctor pen because of the added modalities. Now, if you have been here for a little while, you know I'm a huge fan of LED light therapy, but I'm not sure how beneficial it is to have the LED light therapy in contact with my skin for just mere seconds. And there is no way for me to tell if the EMS electroporation indeed does anything. So really the main reason I love this pen is because I find it so much more comfortable to use. I would be curious to know if you have this pen, do you have the same experience? Do you find it more comfortable to use than any other Dr. Pens? Please share down below. Something else I like about this pen is that it comes with this stand. It's a nice added touch. So when the pen is on, it has this very sensitive touch screen right here that usually if I just slightly touch it, it turns on. When the pen is on, I can rest it on here and it passes, which is nice because I do take my pen or I do put my pen down quite a bit between sessions. And this way I don't have to turn it off each time or it doesn't bounce around on my desk. So those are the main reasons I love this pen is that I find it more comfortable to use. And I think this is a nice add a touch. It is more expensive. The pen itself is more expensive. The cartridges are more expensive. And strangely enough, even though I find this much more comfortable to use than any other Dr. Pen model I have used, I get more downtime from using this. So I did a medical microneedling session five days ago. And usually I will have downtime for three days at the most. I've shown you before in videos how long I have downtime for. It's been five days and you might be able to see I still have some red streaks and because I don't wear makeup, I just use a bit of tinted sunscreen, they are difficult to cover up. So I have to really, when using this pen, think about planning my sessions well because it's been five days 
and I still have a bit of downtime, so I wouldn't want to go to a wedding or something right now. So these are the plus and minuses about this pen, at least in my opinion. I really like using it because again, I find it so much more comfortable to use. And I like this little stand. It is more expensive. Personally, I get more downtime and I'm not sure the extra modalities are worth it. But I would love to know again, if you have this pen, please share your experience with it down below and it can help everybody. Now talking about LED light therapy, Beth Sanderson has done it again. And if you don't know who Beth Sanderson is, Beth Sanderson is a dear friend of mine and the founder of my Sama, who has been on my channel several times. And about a year ago, I was raving about Beth's new Prana LED face mask, which I still love. I think it's fantastic. But Beth has done it again. And she just recently came out with her chin to chest mask. Now there are of course quite a few neck and deck masks available on the market, but what Beth did is she added a little submental part, which I think is so smart because for many of us, I think this area right here is a problem area. I don't like that word, but you know what I mean. So I really like that Beth added this little submental part. And then of course this mask also just like Beth's Prana LED face mask has pulse light technology, which is something at the time of filming this video, only my Sama LED devices have. And I will link a video down below in which Beth talks about why pulse light, why the superior. But one of the benefits of pulse light is better product penetration. So the chin to chest mask just like the Prana LED face mask does have pulse light. And if you're worried about it being irritating, I will show you in a second. But it also has two different programs, one using red and infrared combined, and one just using red, which I think is great because some people don't want to use infrared. And then on top of either just the red or the red and infrared combined, you can add the pulsed light technology. So the mask comes with a remote. You turn it on and then this is just red right now. This is red and infrared combined. And then this is red and infrared combined and pulsed. So as you can see, the pulses are not visible to the naked eye. I think this mask is fantastic. And like I said, Beth did it again. She took what was already available on the market and made it even better by adding a submental part and adding pulse light technology. I got this mask about three weeks ago and I have been using it pretty regularly, though I haven't been too good last week because it was another very busy week. But my plan is to use this daily if I can and I will keep you posted on if I see any benefits. I have talked about before how I have neglected my neck for so many decades and it definitely needs a bit of love. So I'm hoping using this combined with Bev's new product, I will see some nice benefits. I will keep you posted. Talking about Bev's new product, Bev came out with a light version of her star product, the Green Rooibos Pressed Serum. I know many of you love the original Green Boy Was Press Serum, and quite a few of you have told me that you use it in conjunction with your red light therapy and you are seeing great results. But Beth told me there was the occasional customer that said the original serum was a bit heavy or it caused pilling when used with other products or it stained their skin or they were sensitive to the aloe vera in the original version. So, Beth listened and she came out with a lighter version of her Green Royal Was Press Serum, which is now water-based, but of course still contains her star ingredient, Green Royal Was. This is gorgeous. And while I really like the original Green Royal Was Press Serum, I like this even better because I always overuse products and I too found that the original caused some staining, probably because I used too much. This one, like I said, it's gorgeous. It is very light. You can see it just runs right down, 
but it is very light but very hydrating. Leaves you with a beautiful glow and causes zero staining. But because it still contains deep green rooibos extract, it still works beautifully with red light therapy. So this is what I have been using in conjunction with my chin to chest mask on my neck. And like I said last week, I haven't been too good about it because it was a crazy week, but I'm planning on being regular, using it hopefully daily or almost daily, and I will keep you posted. Hopefully my neck, which has been quite neglected, will see some good benefits from this combination. So if you like the original Green White Wasp Press Serum, but like some of the customers found it a bit heavy or it caused peeling or staining, give this a try. It's gorgeous. And if you haven't tried the original, but you are looking for something to use with your red light therapy to make it a bit more beneficial, give this a try. Or my Sama, another product I love, is the Green Rooibos Atomizer. I will put a picture of it right here. I've talked about it in another video. That one is gorgeous too. It's just a spritz, a mist, smells amazing. It's a big bottle. You could use it all over your body if you have a full body LED panel. Both this and the mist are gorgeous in conjunction with LED light therapy. And then next, I have a cleansing oil I have really been enjoying. This is the Madagascar Santella Light Cleansing Oil. I'm actually on my second container of this and I will definitely repurchase it. It's just a beautiful cleansing oil, which I use for my first cleanse at night to loosen up my sunscreen and dirt and grime from the day. It's quite calming because it does contain Centella Asiatica. It also contains olive fruit extract, jojoba seed extract, and some other beautiful ingredients. It's quite affordable. I like that it comes in a pump bottle. I much prefer that over a part that I have to sort of <laughs> dig out the product. So I really enjoy this. And like I said, I'm on my second container and I would definitely repurchase it. If you have used this, please share your experience with it down below. Or if you have another cleansing oil you really love, please share down below. Let's see next. I recently shared a what I eat in a day video. And in that video, I told you that in the mornings I make what I call a protein pudding. And I think I oversold it a bit because so many of you said, please give us the recipe for your protein pudding. Really all it is is protein powder with just enough, I use soy milk, but you can use whatever liquid you want, with just enough soy milk to make it nice and thick. So the protein powder I have been using and loving is this one right here called Naked Shake. This is plant-based, but I do believe Naked also has whey protein, but I'm not certain. I've only tried this one. This is the peanut butter chocolate flavor. I love it. It is delicious. I'm going to read you the ingredients, but I'm going to have to put on my glasses for that. But it is a fairly clean protein powder. It contains pea protein, roasted peanuts, alkalized cacao, coconut sugar, natural plant-based flavors, MCT powder, and potassium chloride and fermented cane sugar. So this does contain sugar. It doesn't contain artificial sweetener, but it does contain sugar. And per serving, one serving is two scoops of this, which gives me 20 grams of protein and it has four grams of sugar, three grams are added sugar. So altogether four grams of sugar per serving, but three grams of added sugar. Personally, I'm not worried about the three grams of added sugar. I would rather it has real sugar in it than some artificial sweetener I don't want to have in my body. And while a lot of protein powders use stevia or monk fruit, I feel that they have a very strange taste and often those protein powders for my taste are way too sweet and artificial tasting. So this actually containing real sugar, I don't mind and it tastes delicious. If you have tried this, please share your experience with it down below. If you have another protein powder you enjoy, please share down below. But this is what I have been using for my 
protein pudding, which again, I way oversold. It's really just two scoops of this with just enough. And I use the organic silk soy milk, just enough of that. I use the unsweetened one. I mix it up and I make it nice and thick so it is like a pudding. And that is what I have first thing in the morning. It keeps my blood sugar nice and stable. It allows me to be active and work out without feeling full and feeling kind of sick when working out, but also without being hangry. So let's see what else. Something that has made a huge difference, like I said in the beginning of this video or at the beginning of this video, there are a few things I'm going to share with you that have made a huge difference for me. And one of them is the Calisum Advanced Hair Care System. Now, I have actually made a whole video on this particular product, so I won't go too much into detail. But Calisum makes skincare and hair care, and all of the products use a patented ingredient called PTT6. And the company says that PTT6 contains growth factors, cytokines, and exosomes derived from red deer umbilical cord lining stem cells. Like I said, I made a whole video on this product. And in that video, I show you how I use it. And I also show you before and after pictures. But if you have been here for a little while, you may have heard me talk about experiencing seasonal hair loss each year. Now, seasonal hair loss to me means that each year, starting at about the beginning of July till at least the end of October, I shed excessively. And I have been experiencing seasonal hair loss for at least a decade now, if not longer. Now, the first time I experienced seasonal hair loss, I had no idea what it was. I just seemingly from one day to the next started shedding excessively. And back then I spent so much money on blood tests because I thought maybe my hormones were out of whack. Maybe my cortisol was high or low, my estrogen, my thyroid. I tested all of it, everything was fine. I spent even more money on supplements, on topicals, nothing helped. Back then, the first time I experienced seasonal hair loss, I was so frustrated with seeing my hair everywhere that I actually cut my hair short. Eventually it stopped, just to start again the next year. So this went on for a little while. Each year I freaked out until I realized, wait a minute, there is a pattern here. And I did a bit of research and learned that indeed there is such thing as seasonal hair loss and it affects quite a few of us. Now, even knowing that there is such thing as seasonal hair loss and that it is what I experience every year, doesn't mean I don't stress out each time I shed like crazy. So when I made the video on the Calisum Advanced Hair Care System and I realized it really helped, I said I would never be without this again especially not come the beginning of summer when I usually experience seasonal hair loss. Well, we left Paris, as many of you know, last December, lived out of a suitcase for six months. I wasn't prepared, I didn't bring this. We were on the East Coast and about the middle of June on the East Coast, it got really hot. And with the weather changing, I started shedding excessively and I freaked out. I thought, oh no, my seasonal hair loss is starting sooner. I don't have my Calisum Advanced Hair Care System. I didn't have a mailing address, so I couldn't order it. And on top of the weather changing and me experiencing seasonal hair loss, I also experienced a bunch of stress. So it was a double whammy for hair loss. My normal seasonal hair loss coupled with a lot of stress and I didn't have any supplements, nothing topical to use. So all I could do was just stress out for a few weeks. So when I came to San Diego, one of the first things I did is order my Calisum Advanced Hair Care System. In fact, I was lucky they were running a sale around that time and I ordered three boxes. And as soon as it came, I started using it religiously. Like I said, in the video I made, I show you how I use it. But in a nutshell, these are little individually wrapped ampules which last for two sessions and you microneedle half of this into your scalp with this little stamp that oops <laughs> that has 0.5 millimeter needles 
Now 0.5 millimeters on the face is considered medical microneedling and it might be a bit uncomfortable, but our scalp is so much thicker than the skin on our face. So 0.5 millimeters on the scalp is not even uncomfortable. So in the beginning, twice a week, you needle half of this bottle into your scalp for six weeks. Then you go to a maintenance phase where you use this once a week. And I have actually had people tell me they use only a quarter bottle and they still have great results. So I got here, I ordered this, I started using it. To be honest, for the first six weeks, nothing happened. I was shedding excessively. Like I said, it wasn't just my seasonal hair loss, it was coupled with a lot of stress. With our move, with being separated from my husband, with Sammy, I've talked about this in a different video, Sammy needing surgery, it was a lot of stress. So for six weeks, I needled this into my scalp and I was still shedding excessively. And I thought, I don't know if this is as good as I originally thought. I was shedding so badly that when I took a shower, usually when I wash my hair, four or five hairs come out. And I will put them to the side and then throw them in the toilet when I'm done taking a shower because I don't want them going down my drain and clogging up my drain. But I was shedding so badly that I couldn't even look. I would just wash my hair and sort of, you know, hair would come out and I would collect it, trying not to touch it so I wouldn't feel how much it is. And I would put it to the side. I made the mistake of looking the first time. That's why I know how much it was. But from then on, I closed my eyes. So I would collect it, put it to the side. Once I was done showering, I would open the shower door, throw it in the toilet and flush without looking because I didn't want to stress even more knowing how much hair I was losing. But I can tell you, it was a lot. So even six weeks into this, I was still shedding like crazy and I thought maybe this is overrated and maybe it's just not working. However, I kept using it. Even after six weeks, I kept using it twice a week because I was desperate. By week eight, my hair loss slowed down quite drastically suddenly. So much so that when I washed my hair, I could finally look how much hair was coming out. It was still more than normally, but it was about half of what it had been. By week 10, it stopped. By week 10, I was losing, again, when I washed my hair, four or five hairs. When I combed it throughout the day, barely any fell out. So even though it was only the middle of August, I think it was about the middle of August, maybe the beginning of October, my seasonal hair loss completely stopped. And normally I would be shedding still excessively until at least the end of October, especially combined with all the stress I was experiencing. So while at first I thought maybe this is overrated, it's incredible. This is really the only thing ever, like I said, I have been experiencing seasonal hair loss for at least a decade now. And in that decade, I can't tell you how much money I have spent on topicals, on supplements, on blood tests, on all kinds of stuff. Nothing has ever stopped my seasonal hair loss. This is really the only thing. So this is amazing. I really will never be without this. And if I ever live out of a suitcase again, I will make sure to bring this. So if you are struggling with hair loss, now of course there are different reasons why we may be losing hair excessively. It could be hormonally, it could be stress, it could be genetics. I can't promise you that this will work just as well for you, but it's definitely worth a try. While this is not cheap, we always have a discount code with Calisum, which I will put right here, and I believe it's 20% off, and then they very often run sales. Like I said, when I purchased my boxes as soon as I came to San Diego, I purchased three of them because they were having a sale and my discount code is always good on top of the sale. If you have used this, please share your experience with it down below and hopefully it can help others. And then lastly, I talked about my PEMF mat in a recent video and so many of you wanted me to talk more about the mat. And I think that it actually deserves a whole separate video, but I wanted to bring it up in this video because it is something I have really been enjoying and has made quite a difference in my life. 
it's big I can't bring it right here but I will show you a little video of it so this is a PEMF mat and it is by higher dose and PEMF stands for pulsed electromagnetic field and according to the company PEMF technology sends electromagnetic waves through the body at different healing frequencies to promote the body's natural recovery process. And these frequencies mimic the Earth's gravitational field and other frequencies found in nature. And therefore, PEMF has the potential to recharge our cells and promote relaxation. Now, honestly, Higher Dose sent me my PEMF mat about 10 months ago. I received it when I first came to San Diego, when I was only here for five days. So I used it for five days, then we moved to the East Coast and I didn't use it for six months because I didn't bring it. When I came back to San Diego, I started using it regularly because I wanted to try it and see. And I told you in another video that while I found it relaxing to lay on it, I didn't know if it gave me any sort of added benefit. However, over the past couple of months, I know for sure that I benefited from laying on my PEMF mat. I talked about in another video how stressful the last couple of months have been and I was really craving laying on my mat. I would lay on it daily and meditate and while it is hard to put in words what sort of benefit I got from it, where I really saw a benefit was on my aura ring. Now the aura ring will show you your heart rate variability and heart rate variability is the variation in time between heartbeats measured in milliseconds and supposedly it can be a good indicator of overall health and stress resilience. Now when I was going through all this stress the last couple of months I actually thought that my PEMF mat was broken because suddenly I could only turn on infrared, not the different wavelength. What I didn't realize is that I just didn't have the plug all the way in. So I would still lay on it, but just have it on infrared. And I can show you a few screenshots of my heart rate variability when I was going through this stressful time. It was very low. In fact, every morning when I woke up, my aura ring was yelling at me saying, take time to recover. Your heart rate variability is very low. Well, suddenly I realized that I did not have my mat plugged all the way in and I finally did. And as soon as I started laying on it again, this time using both programs, the infrared and the different wavelength, my heart rate variability increased drastically. And again, I will put some screenshots right here. So while it is hard to put in words, what exactly it did for me laying on it aside from just helping me relax but I also lay on it and meditate and that of course helps with relaxation. The difference in my heart rate variability using the different wavelengths or not using them is quite impressive. But like I said I will make a whole different video on PEMF because now I find it really fascinating but I wanted to mention the mad because so many of you have asked me about it. So these are all the things I think so. I think I haven't forgotten anything. These are all the things I have really been enjoying over the last few months. And like I said, some of them, like my PEMF mat and the Calism Advanced Haircut System, have made quite a difference in my life. I would love to know some things you have been enjoying. Please share them down below. Any questions or comments, of course, please share them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. And if you have tried any of the products I mentioned, I would love to hear your experience with them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye.